In this video, I'm going to be working out an individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of sine squared x times cosine squared x dx. Before I get started, I am going to point out that I've got half angle identities written out over here because I'm going to use those um, throughout the problem. So we'll use the half um, angle identity for sine squared x and the one for cosine squared x as well. And then if you know the original half angle identities, then hopefully at this point, then I know that if I have the cosine squared of 2x, that is also a half angle identity and I just need to make sure that I, that is a 4x so that I've got that same ratio going on. Okay, so for starters, what I'm going to do is I've got a sine squared x and a cosine squared x, so I'm going to make those half angle identity substitutions right off the bat. So I'm going to have the integral of 1 minus cosine 2x all over 2 times 1 plus cosine of 2x all over 2. And that's nothing more than just a simple uh, substitution of those identities. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at the uh, 1 half in each of those and pull both out. So that'll pull out a 1 fourth outside my integral. That's going to leave me with a 1 minus cosine 2x times a 1 plus cosine 2x. Okay, at that point now, hopefully you can look at this as being um, a product that when I multiply it together, I get the difference of two squares. I've got um, a binomial here with a minus, a binomial here with a plus, and both the first and the second quantities are the same. So I'm going to go ahead and FOIL that out. I will have a 1 fourth times the integral of squaring 1 is 1, put a minus down, and then squaring the second one there is going to give me a cosine squared of 2x. Okay, at this point then I'm going to break this up into two individual integrals just so that we are showing lots of steps here so that it's easy to follow. So I'm going to have a 1 fourth times the integral of 1 dx minus the integral of cosine squared 2x dx. Okay, now at this point, hopefully, you know, integral of 1 with the dx there is just going to give us an x. That's going to be an easy one. Here, I have another half angle identity, except this time it's a 2x. So because I have the cosine squared of 2x, that identity is going to be 1 plus cosine 4x all over 2. All right, so we'll do that substitution on that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and integrate this because that's so simple there. So we'll do a 1 fourth times the quantity of integrating that 1 dx. I'll have an x and then minus the integral. Making that substitution, we'll have a 1 plus cosine of 4x all over 2 dx. And then... Um, Let's go ahead and bring it up here so that we've got more room to write here. I'm going to take this one half and I'm going to pull it out in front. And then at the same time, I'm going to take the numerator there and break it up into two individual integrals like I did earlier. So I will have a one fourth times the quantity of x and then minus. We're going to pull out the one half. So I'm going to have a one half times the quantity. Now I'm going to break up that numerator into two individual integrals. So the integral of 1 dx plus the integral of cosine of 4x dx. So closing the first set, closing the second set of brackets. Okay, now again, this is going to integrate pretty easily. And then this is just a u substitution straightforward integral. Um, if you need to work that out by hand, you can pause the video and do it. I'm just going to kind of do it in our head here. That 4x is on the inside. I would let my u be 4x. That means I would be pulling out a 1 fourth. Okay, so we'll have a 1 fourth here. Our x is still here minus the 1 half. Okay, now integrating my 1 dx is going to give me an x. I've got a plus here, integrating this, pulling out that one fourth. I'll have a one fourth sine of four x, and then a plus c. All right, from here on down, it's just going to be simplifying terms, distributing that sort of thing. I'm going to distribute that negative um, one half there, so I'll have a one fourth times the quantity of x. Distributing here, I have a minus one half x. Distributing here, I'll have a minus one eighth 
2 times 4 is 8 there, sine of 4x, and then plus c, and then distributing one more time that 1 fourth all the way around, so I'll have a 1 fourth x minus 1 fourth times a half is going to give me a 1 eighth x, uh, 1 fourth times that 1 over 8 is going to give me a 1 over 32 sine, 4x and then plus c. Um, and I think I'm going to go one more uh, step here because these two are like terms so I can put those two together. So 1 fourth minus a 1 eighth is going to give me a 1 eighth x minus a 1 over 32 sine 4x plus c. And I think we're actually done at that point. Okay, so kind of a long integral, all right, not necessarily a difficult one. You definitely needed to substitute those half un, um, angle identities at the very beginning and then recognize that um, you had another half angle identity that you could substitute here. And then pretty much straightforward from that point on. Um, definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to share with your friends so that they can benefit as well. And please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.